This is The Sisters Sing Soul, a program dedicated to showcasing the rare soul gems of the 60s and 70s as sung by the best of soul music's female artists. Hi, I'm Greg, and I'm delighted to be back with another episode of The Sisters Sing Soul. Episode 14 will feature Dorothy Moore, who achieved fame with the gorgeous ballad Misty Blue, but whose several decades of recording produced many more deep soul gems. The episode will also include three fine southern soul songs by Little Known Diva and Sexton. Dorothy Moore was born in 1946 in Jackson, Mississippi. Like so many other great southern soul artists, she began singing in church at an early age. Dorothy began her secular singing career while still a student at Jackson State University, first as a member of the Dollettes, who released two singles in 1965, and then as a member of the Poppies. The Poppies recorded in Nashville and had four singles on the Epic label. The first, Lullaby of Love, was a minor hit, making it to number 56 on the Billboard Pop Chart in 1966. Dorothy recorded a few more singles over the next couple of years as a solo artist, but none of them went anywhere. Dorothy then joined Malico Records in Jackson, Mississippi, where she sang background vocals for the studio and cut a few singles in the early 70s, which were leased out to a number of labels. Let's listen to two of these early Malico recordings. Here's the 1973 release, Cry Like a Baby. In 1974, Dorothy recorded Two of a Kind. Let's listen. Oh. 
A woman needs as much as a man does. She's got a soul mm, just like he does. And when he gets cold, she feels just like he does. That makes us too. Woman's been through pain just like a man has all the stress and strain mm, just like he has been thrown out of the rain oh, just like he has that makes us so By 1975, Malico Records was struggling, finding it difficult to lease songs to other labels, including the recently recorded Misty Blue. Malico then decided to issue the record themselves. They pressed a few copies, mailed them out, and hoped. And what happened? Well, Misty Blue became an immediate monster hit. It made it all the way to number two on the R&B chart and number three pop selling over two million copies along the way. Let's listen to this wonderful song. Such a long, long time Look like I get you off of my mind But I can't Just the thought of you Turns my whole world misty blue Just the mention of your name Turns the flicker to a flame Listen to me, good baby I think of the things we used to do And my whole world turns misty blue Have 
Following the success of Misty Blue, Malico rushed to release more songs by Dorothy Moore, and the result was a string of songs that deservedly made the R&B and pop charts. The Misty Blue album, released in 1976, contained many fine deep soul ballads. The Only Time You Say You Love Me was written by the great songwriter Philip Mitchell. The original version was recorded by the brilliant Sissy Houston, Mother of Whitney. It is a stunningly beautiful take on the song, but Dorothy Moore's version is, in my opinion, just as fine. Let's listen. So confused 
Also on the Misty Blue album was the deeply moving Eddie Floyd composition, I Don't Want to Be With Nobody But You. Here it is. You. you just sitting around watching me and moping all day. Why don't you get up and get out and go to work or something? Bet you think that I don't love you, baby. Bet you think that I Dorothy continued to record for Malico during the 1980s and 1990s and remained true to the Southern Soul tradition. We'll finish our Dorothy Moore set with one of these later recordings. Here's a fine mid-tempo groover released in 1992, Blues in the Night. I wait for your call every 
night I can't sleep at all Wishing I could hold you tight Maybe, maybe I shouldn't worry But I can't help myself Dorothy Moore's illustrious career has been recognized with four Grammy nominations, along with numerous other awards. May she long continue to record and perform. Mary Ann Sexton was born in Greenville, South Carolina in 1950, where as a youngster she sang in her church choir. She began singing in local clubs, and in 1966, still in her teens, sang the lead vocal on the single, I Confess, by Elijah and the Ebenezer. In 1970, she married saxophonist Melvin Burton, with whom she wrote a number of songs, two of which you'll hear shortly. 1971 saw the release of The Dancer, You've Been Gone Too Long. It was re-released in 1972, along with the emotive southern soul ballad, You're Letting Me Down on the B-Side. Here is Ann Sexton with You're Letting Me Down. My friends tell me you Talk is out 
Anne's next single, also released in 1972, was the beautiful, moving Come Back Home, written by Anne and her husband, Melvin. Let's listen. In 1973, Anne Sexton's first album was released. The very rare Loving You, Loving Me collection contained the songs from her singles, along with a ballad that has become a favorite among my soul fan friends. Also written by Anne and her husband, here is Keep On Holding On. Oh, baby, I found out you've been messing around on me. Every time I look around, someone's telling me they saw you the other day with another girl. But you know, baby, talk is cheap. So I had to find out for myself. Although I know it's true, there's just one thing I want to say to you. Baby, I love you. you're putting through Baby I need you Why can't you be true Of all the things in this whole wide world yeah. I just wanna be your own I need your love more than anything 
and continued to record throughout the 70s, releasing more singles and another album. But none of her recordings achieved much commercial success. Anne then left the music business and worked at a New York school as a paraprofessional under her married name, Mary Burton. After a 30-year hiatus, Anne agreed to perform at a number of music festivals. Let's hope that this marvelous singer will continue to sing. This episode's songs and where you can find them are listed on the site. Please feel free to contact me with your comments below. The next episode of The Sisters Sing Soul will feature a second set of songs from the incomparable Ann Peebles, whose brilliant singing was first aired in episode two of this series. Also featured will be Rhonda Washington, yet another obscure soul singer whose singing is deserving of the highest accolades. Until then, I'm Greg for The Sisters Sing Soul, a program dedicated to showcasing the rare soul gems of the 60s and 70s as sung by the best of soul music's female artists. <laughs>